um, I'm here. I look like poop. I'm doing a haul. Um, I got back from Liverpool today and I decided to do a haul because um, we got a couple of bits. We didn't, we did try and go to town and it just didn't happen because one thing or another we didn't get to go. Um, so we went to the local shopping centre which is the Strand which I have told you about before. I do apologise for my voice as well, I know I sound dead scouse because whenever I go away I pick up the accent and stuff bad. But um, yeah, so I've got these bits to show you and then I've got a couple of bits from the other day that I'm going to show you as well. The first thing I want to show you is, look, I've finally got them both. I've got Hayley and Mark. Now Mark actually got one ages ago when they very, very first came out when nobody really knew about them. He got one that said Mark on it and we were all dead jealous. Then of course it really picked up and I couldn't get a Hayley one anywhere. And then I eventually found one, but Mark had already been this, so then I had to find another Mark. But I've now got Mark and Hayley, so I'm keeping them. I thought they were dead cute. So I've got them. Um, went to Superdrug the day before I left for Liverpool because um, I wanted to pick some up especially because I needed to do my nails for White Clouds so I went to see White Clouds the Thursday and then we went to Liverpool on the Friday um, so I picked up Barry M uh, uh, Barry M was still on 3 for 2 and I wanted one of their white nail art pens because I'd already got the black one so I picked up the white one and I, I love these things they're so easy to use it's just a shame they only come in four colours but I got the white one and then because they're on three for two I got the pink one as well which I, I did briefly use in the nail look that I did but I will be using this more and then I saw this green now this is one of them limited edition ones which cost a pound more than the normals but they don't do anything just got a pretty lid but I absolutely loved this green now I've already got the pink one which has got like a zebra lid and this one's got a tribal lid but I just love this green it's like really it's not neon green but it's like really really bright the only downside I found with these colors like the pink one as well they're very very watery they're quite um, transparent you have to do quite a few coats to get them opaque but it doesn't matter so I got that one and then I ordered this off of eBay ages ago and I forgot to haul it because I had one of these that I used all the time and then I went to use it one day and it had all gone funny. I don't know if it had been in the sun or something but it had all gone funny. Um, and it's OPI. You can't really see it in this light but it's called Princess's Rule. But I love this. But what's really weird about this one is it's pinker than my other one. But it's supposed to be a, re it's a really, really sheer pink or the other one was. And it just gives a really, it looks gorgeous over natural nails. It just gives a really transparent but glittery look to it. It's so pretty. But this one is a lot pinker. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's new. But I love this colour. And I got that off eBay. I think I only got it for like £3 up and it's brand new. So I was dead happy with that. Then I went to town. Like, no, I didn't go to town. I went to Bootle Strand. Oh, I'm going shopping again tomorrow, by the way, so I will probably be hauling a little bit more tomorrow. I went to the perfume shop because we had to get his dad a birthday present, Mark's dad, because he was on holiday for his birthday. Um, so we went and got him this while we were here because we saw him while we were down. Um, and while we were in there, I picked some up for myself. And she gave us, she was really, really nice. And she gave us loads of samples. And I've never, ever been given samples in the perfume shop before. And I was really, well, I was like dead chuffed. So she gave me two male ones. But she was really good because she gave us two of each, which was cool. So she gave me two, which is called Mont Blanc Legend. Which I didn't really like the smell. It didn't really smell of anything. And she gave me two uh, Ralph Lauren Polo Reds. And that actually smells really nice, so I'm going to see how much that is, and I might get some for And then she gave me two of these. Now, this one she actually let me smell in the shop. Um, she did a tester for me, and oh, it's, it's so nice. Now, I've already got Mark, Day, Mark, Mark, Jacobs, Mark Jacobs Daw, which is the red bottle with the 
um, the like lazy bird on it. Well, he's now brought out honey. And oh my god. Like I said, she let me smell this in the shop. It smells so good. It's got a sunny delicious floral with sparkling notes of orange blossom and a hint of honey. And it just smells. I love the little tester bottles because they're like proper bottles. Oh, it, does, it smells so sweet. I don't really use my Marc Jacobs dot. I forget to use it, but this just smells... It smells not as sweet as the other one. and I can't really get the honey. But it does smell nice. If you like dot, you'll like this one. But look at the bottle. Look how cute the bottle is. It's got bees on it this time. This is what dot looks like. But these are red. And on the one I've got, because I've got the big one, it's got a massive one on the lid but yeah that's so cute so she gave me two of them and she gave me two of this one which I haven't actually smelt yet and this is Bejeweled by Vera Wang can you see that because it's like really bad light in here where's the oh it's there spray this on this arm ooh Oh, I like that. Oh, that's dead pretty. Damn it. Now I want that one. This smells... A radiant fruity floral that sparkles inside and out. That's all it says. And that's the bottle for that one. It's really, really pretty. And in the... I think it was in the fragrant... Fre, 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 the fragrant shop. It had a clutch with it with all jewels on it, but... It smells so pretty. I like that. But now I've been meaning to smell this for ages, and um, my friend Andy on here, he will be so made up. I've bought this. I've been wanting to smell this for ages, and he kept saying to me, Go and smell it, go and smell it. And then my friend, um, Kurt, I think it was Kirsty. Did Kirsty get this? I think she did. And I got all jealous, and I was like, oh, I want it too. Well, basically, I smelt this one, Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday. Now, I like Nicki Minaj anyway. I don't care what people say. So this is the box. And my gorgeous, gorgeous husband said, get the biggest one that they've got. And I was just like, really? But it was actually on offer. It was pretty cheap. But they, what, what is this? 100 mil was 38.50. 38.50. Yeah, which I thought was quite cheap, actually, because Katy Perry was like double that. I just I love the bottle. Um, you've probably seen them, but look at this bottle. It reminds me, because when you open it, you take her head off. This reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana. Is it Dolce & Gabbana? I'm sure it's Dolce & Gabbana that does it. But yeah, this is the bottle. How amazing is that? So she's got gold face, but she's got pink lips, and pink hair, and I love her necklace. I had a necklace like this when I was younger, and it said Betts, I think. It's on here. Because my nickname used to be Betts when I was a teenager. And I went and I had this made at Argos. And I think Argos still actually make these, all the chains wrapped around it. It's broken now, it broke years ago, so I put it on a teddy and I found the teddy the other day. And I took the necklace off, but you can't see, I don't know if you can see it's a chains wrap. But yeah, it says Betts, look. So that's mine, and then that's the Nicki Minaj one. So I thought that was really cool, that they're like the same. And then in the picture, she's got a Nicki Minaj necklace on. So obviously this is based on this. But, oh, I love it. This smells so good. Oh, I love this bag. Just, oh. Oh, it smells. As soon as she sprayed it, because she said to me, do you want it? And I've never had this either. She said, do you want it on a card or do you want it on yourself? And I was like, put it on me. Because they normally just put it on the card and you can't get the same effect. And I smelt it on myself and I was like, I've got to get it. Oh, I love it. Does it tell me what's in it? doesn't tell you anything about it, it's the only downside. But basically if you like all your sweet ones, like if you like the Britney one and if you like the, um, what's her name, Taylor Swift one and all that, then you'll like this. But it's not as sweet as the others, which is cool, but oh, I love it. I just remember after I got it sprayed on my arm, I was just walking around like this the whole time, I looked like I was mental. I got a couple of bits from Tesco as well. While I was there, I got the 
planning on painting my nails while I was there, which didn't happen, but kind of did. You can't take me anywhere that sells nail varnish because I will buy it. Although these actually got bought for me, but anyway. So I got three nail varnishes. I got this one by Maybelline Colour Show. And it's this really pretty blue because I went with the Barry M blue jelly on and I did it straight after I got home from White Clouds and it went all funny. It didn't look right. So I bought this and I put it over the top. I don't know if you can see in this light. It is really pretty. It's got like a, a sort of purple shimmer through it. Let me ocean blue and I just applied a layer of it over the, the Barry M jelly and it, it is really pretty but I'm going to be taking these off in a minute and then because I thought I was going to be doing my nails I just got some pads and then I bought two because um, these were two for four pounds and they were like three pound each were they two for four or two for three I can't remember and they're the Rimmel um, I love lasting finish and I got two I got number 700 which is called block your green and it's this really sort of dark, you can't see, like, grassy green. I'll take a picture of it and I'll put it in for you because you can't see. Yeah, and then I got this one which is 300 called Pop Your Pink and it's like a really bright hot pink. So, yeah. And And then I went down the home aisle and I found this candle and literally all it says is hugs and kisses. That's all it says on it. It doesn't say what it smells of or anything. I don't actually know what it smells like but it's pink. It smells a bit like vanilla or cocoa butter and that sort of thing. It's just very girly. It's quite a big one. Oh, wow quite a big candle. I think this was on offer, it was half price at like 2 50 or something. So that's what I got from Tesco and then, now I've never ever seen this in Britain before. Now I watch Pink Sparkles a lot on here and she does a lot of these hauls and she's from Canada. I've never seen this in the UK before. I don't know if they do it because I don't go to Claire's very often but it was 10 for 10. I've been there once before in the Bootle one again when it was 5 for 5 and they had certain stuff on five items for five pounds and I got ten items for ten pound but what was really cool is it, it was on the entire store everything except they had a stand of hair stuff which was already 30% off that wasn't in it and bags like handbags everything else was in it so you've got all your expensive Hello Kitty stuff you've got One Direction stuff all the jewelry everything it was amazing and I bought three things for Emmy because I'm stupid. So I bought, I just bought that for Emmy, which is a little lip gloss set, which is dead cute because she picked it herself. It's got all different lip glosses in it, so that won't stay like that for long. So it's quite cute actually. So she got that, and I bought her the cutest hat. Look at this hat. How cute is this hat? It's got ears. I don't think it'll fit me. No, it's too small for me. But look how cute it is. It's so cute. I bought some sunglasses which I've left in my handbag downstairs but I did Instagram a picture of me in them so I will put that in I think you can see I got two jewellery items I got this because I thought this was dead cute this is from the Minnie Mouse range but I don't understand how this is Minnie Mouse because it doesn't have a bow on it. So I would just say this is Mickey Mouse. But it's this necklace. It's quite long. And it's just got a Mickey Mouse head on it. But I just thought that was dead cute. And I think you could kind of put these where you want. So you can have it You can have it hanging that way if you want. You can have it hanging whatever way you want. But I just thought that was dead cute. So I got that. And then I got this necklace. So I've seen this in there a few times. This is a really long one. And then it's just got this plastic diamond at the bottom. Which that was really cute. I got this, which is a body mist. 
I quite liked the bottle, I thought the bottle was really pretty. I don't know what it smells like. It just smells... It's on my leg, I'm running out of places. It smells a little bit floral. A little bit... Oh, it smells like cucumber. Oh, I've gone blurry. Hello, there we go. Smells like cucumber. Oh, I'm even more excited now. I love cucumber scents. So yeah, body mist. I've got a lip smacker, Coca-Cola one, but I'm actually really disappointed in this one because the tube ones smell better. It does smell like Coca-Cola, but not as much as the other one. So I got that. That was sealed. I've got two nail varnishes. I got this one, which I'll take a photo of as well which is Claire's Chip Resistant Nail Polish. Um, it doesn't have a name. But it's just this, um, it's like a top coat and it's just got holographic purple glitters, shards in it. It's dead pretty. And then I got this one, which is a yellow glitter. Never seen a yellow glitter before, so I kind of got it. And it was the last one there. But this one, it's supposed to have a light in it. Which I didn't know until I looked at it. It's supposed to, I don't know why, I suppose it's so you can paint your nails in the dark or something stupid like that. But it's got a little light in there. And you press the lid and the light comes on, but the light is broken in this one. And the last place I went was New Look because I wanted to have just a quick look in there. They had a sale on. And I really needed some jeans because I bought some jeans from yours a couple of weeks ago and they're already too big. It's not good. So I thought I'd have a look in New Look and I found a really nice pair of jeans. The size under what I needed. But all the ones in my size were all skinny jeans and I hate skinny jeans. So I didn't get them. Mark got three pairs of socks because the New Look in Bootle now, they used to have a great big Inspire section which has now been reduced and they've put men's into it. So he got these socks. These were all on three for two and I'm dead jealous. So I might steal them. I'm stealing one pair. You got some Superman ones, some Hulk ones, some Iron Man ones, and he said I can have these ones. So it's like, well, I'm having them. Mine. The only thing is, because they're men's six to twelve, they're a bit big for me. But they're just oh, I love Iron Man. I'll make them in sock puppets. A couple of tops. I did look through some of their sale stuff, but. Normally in New Look they'll put it in sizes but this time it was just all chucked together and I couldn't be bothered. And I did find one really nice lacy top that had no tag on it and I thought that might be in the sale and it was the only one in the shop and it was my size. Took it to the till and she's like 17 99 so I said no. But I bought these two anyway. This was in the sale. This one. Oh, the Claire stuff by the way. I sat and worked it out. I got £60 worth of stuff. I think it was something like £59.75 or something for a tenner. So I thought that was really awesome. This top. I'm sure these were in sale. Oh, they weren't in the sale. Oh, that sucks ass. Anyway, I got this top because I thought it was really cute. I like the pattern on it. If I can pick it up. It's just this vest top but it's just really cute because it's got like this little bird pattern on it and some of the birds have got hearts for wings and I thought that was dead cute the only thing I don't like is this bubble hem bottom but it's long so it'll work so I got that that was $8.99 and then I got this one because I just thought it was so pretty and I love their vest tops at the moment and it's just navy blue well it's like dark it's not navy it's dark blue and then it's got this Aztec pattern on it. Can you see? It's dead pretty. And this was $7.99. I got this from somewhere else, but I got my B reds and I've got it in red. So this is going to be bright. And to go with that, because I've got 30 developer already, but because my hair is already light, um, they had a hairdresser in there today and he told me to get 20. So I bought some 20 developer as well. Um, to find out some prices for you if I can. So, oh, 
awesome. She didn't charge me properly. Uh, awesome. Okay, so the B red is six thirty five, and then the peroxide was two ninety five. Because the place where I go, because it's like um, they only supply to trade, they put all their prices on and then they charge you VAT at the end. So I bought those and then, you know, I can't go anywhere without buying nail varnish. So they had these on the till. And these were um, two, they were 270 each and they're a brand called Misa, which I've never heard of before and they're from the USA. So I bought a base coat because I needed a new base coat. And then I'm a sucker for hot pink, like bright neon pink. This one's called Hot People Like You. And I have actually done some swatches today because I'm good. And this is the swatch of that. And I don't think it's matte. It doesn't look matte. This is the swatch of it. But the thing I like about this one is it stays true to colour. I've got two other like fluorescent pinks downstairs and they go a lot darker on the nail whereas this one stays true to colour. But it's got a shine to it so I don't think it's matte either so I love this. But for £2.70 I thought that was really good and this is a 15ml bottle. So yeah these should have been £2.70 each but she's only charged me for this one. So that's cool. I'm trying to work this out. I've paid less than what I was meant to, I think. Because I bought one, two, three, four. I bought five things from there. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen. It should have been about twenty-three pounds, and she's only charged me nineteen fifty, so that's alright. So yeah, they're the two nail colours I got. And then they sell OPI in there and I saw this. Now my friend Kirsty bought this and like hauled it ages ago. And I saw it today and I fell in love. And it's the Disney Couture of Mini. The Couture de Mini. Now, I have never, ever had an OPI mini bottle before. And I did not realise how mini they were. These are one, one eighth of a fluid ounce. They're 3.75 mils. These are, considering this is a 15 mil bottle. <laughs> but I just felt I'm really getting into my reds now. I never used to wear red nails. But these are just absolutely gorgeous. And they had one there as well, which was like a sparkly top coat. But I avoided that one. I was very good. So... I will just quickly show you what you get and I have swatched all of these as well. So in here you get a definite mouse tab which is this really pretty coral. I am going to photo all of these for you. In fact I will do that now. Yeah, This is the first one which is a definite mouse tab. This is just a really pretty like creamy um, they call it on the back they call it fuchsia, but it, I wouldn't call this fuchsia. It's like a, it's a bit like a cherry red. It's not a bright red, but it's very, very pretty. So I got that one. Then this one, this is the one that actually sold it for me. This one is called Magazine Cover Mouse, and it just looks like a red glitter, but it's not. It's like the liquid sands, and they had a swatch of it in the shop, and I was just like, oh, that's so pretty. And this is what it looks like. Can you see? It's just like the liquid sand. It's so pretty. And I fell in love with it. So I got that one. And then the third one is called Chic from Ears to Tail. Which is like a hot bubblegum pink. It's not hot pink. It's a bubblegum pink. And this reminds me of Princess's Rule. But a little bit more opaque. This is just with one coat. And then the last one is called Inny Mini Mighty Bow. And this is just the most beautiful red and it's got like a pink shimmer running through it. And that swatches beautifully in one coat. This is one coat. It's just, oh, it's gorgeous. So that set was supposed to be six ninety five, but she hasn't charged me for this. What she's done... She's charged me for the base coat, the hair dye, and the developer. But then she's charged me for a crazy colour um, hair dye in hot purple. 
at 4 25 but I didn't buy that so she hasn't charged me for this or for this so the collective total of these is um, about 1050 just over 1050 and she's charged me 425 for these two so I'm pretty impressed with her <laughs> so that's everything I got from there and then The other things I got from Just Essentials are really boring. I just needed some basics. I needed um, a top coat. I didn't need a top coat. I'm on the mission to find a decent top coat. I can't find one anywhere and it's really pissing me off. So I bought this one by Exposed. Exposed is a really nice nail company. A really nice nail um, like collection that I, I enjoy using. And I think the polishes are really good. And this is just the clear one so I don't know what this is going to be like because the last one I bought was the 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 like 3d plumping top coat I think it's by Revlon or Rimmel I think it's Rimmel and it's a lovely top coat but I've got a quarter of the way down and now it every time I use it it puts bubbles on my nail and I hate it it dries quite quickly and it does give a gel like effect and it gives you an effect like Sesh V but it just I don't like it. It just leaves bubbles on me now and it bugs me. And I did a green ombre. I really fancy doing like a green ombre. But I was looking at it and I thought I don't like it. So I did my first ever attempt at zebra stripes. I'm actually pretty proud with how they came out. I really like them. So that's what I'm wearing at the moment. So yeah, I got a top coat like I said. And I needed a black and a white because like... I'm doing a lot more looks that require a white underneath, like these had a white base coat and the only white I've got is a W7 one and it's getting a bit old now so I just got the exposed white. This is called Arctic White. And I've tested this and this is good in one coat which is awesome. And then I got this one which is called Black Velvet and it's just black. This takes two coats but I go through a lot of black and white, they're my two main colours that I use. Sorry, it was me Nana. Well, it was, it was Mark's Nana, but I call her Nana. Here we go. So, yeah, this one is called Hayley Good Looking. And it's this really pretty sort of rose pink glitter, and it's got, like, little red glitters in it as well. Looks really pretty. These are full-size brand new, by the way. And then I also got, oh my god, I've just like, I've gone onto that and then I flicked to the side and I saw that. Oh, that's amazing. It's got pink stars in it, but I didn't order that one. Oh, they've been shipped, so they should be here tomorrow. And then I bought this one, and this one is called A Like Hayley Story. And that's like, it's very similar to one of them that I bought today. That's this colour. So I'm looking forward to getting them. The only difference is that they spell Haley differently in America. It's H-A-L-E-Y, but I don't care. Yeah. Haley, good looking. And I like Haley's story. So I'm looking forward to getting them. I've got a Snapchat. Who's my Snapchat? Oh, it's a video. <gasps> it's a kitty. Kitty. so yeah that's my little haul when they come i will show you but yeah for today that is it so i'll see you soon